Hey Janine again, uh, talking about Bill O'Reilly's book Penheads and Patriots and some of the problems that I had with it. So the next thing I want to talk about uh, comes to us from page 87 where he's talking about Barack Obama and how he doesn't seem to embrace America's role as a force of good in the world. So here's the quote. Psychoanalyzing anyone is a waste of time, so I'll pose just one more question about Barack Obama's personal worldview. Speaking at a press conference in April 2010, he told the world that, like it or not, America is a superpower. Some liberals I know don't like it. They see the U.S. as a bully. But I agree with many of our fellow citizens that America's superpower status is often a force for good. Our military and humanitarian strength has brought relief to millions. Every tyrant in the world fears us. So. The specific question that came to mind was, do you really believe that every tyrant in the world fears us? Because I would very much like to believe that, but then I see our government cozying up to governments that don't allow free speech, that throw their citizens in jail indefinitely execute them for relatively minor infractions. Um, it's just, I would really like to believe that every tyrant in the world fears us, but do I really think that the Chinese government is worried about the U.S. taking some kind of a stand? against some of the things that they do that we don't agree with as far as the way they run their government and treat their people. I, I really don't believe that. I don't think that they're at all afraid of us. Um, I think that they know that we depend on them for credit and for cheap goods and I don't think they're worried at all that we're going to suddenly wake up one day and decide, gee, maybe we should help all these people that are, you know, in jail for little to no reason, you know, that are being forced to work in slave labor camps, more or less. So, like I said, I, I, I don't have a problem with being patriotic, but if you're being patriotic over things that aren't real, then it's not patriotism, it's just blindness. I mean, part of being patriotic is looking at the whole picture, and I think if you do that, you really can't say that the United States is as great as Bill O'Reilly seems to want to think that it is. So that's really all that I wanted to say. Thanks.